Hey everyone, it's Rain, and welcome to Oxygen Not Included. And this time, I'm actually going to try to do a playthrough of it, because usually I only get to like, I don't know, maybe cycle 40 if I'm lucky, and then I give up, because the last time I played, it was kind of a disaster, and most of my duplicates died. So hopefully this time around, we'll do a little bit better. Um, you will probably hear my birds in the background, because they like to talk when I'm talking. And I do apologize if you do hear my fan in the background because it is really stinking hot and it's supposed to be stinking hot probably for the rest of summer because that's just the way it's probably going to be. So we're starting all over fresh. Um, there was a new update for agriculture and they introduced some new plants and stuff like that. So we'll see how far we get. Hopefully none of my duplicates die, but I make no promises. Um... So we'll check out what we have here. Uh, there were new stress responses as well. So other than destructive and vomiting, there was also ugly crier. Um, and I think binge eater. And those ones you got to watch out for because if your stress goes up really high, your food disappears really fast. So I don't really like any of these guys. So let's go ahead. We'll shuffle it and see what we get here. Uh... Yeah, this person looks okay. We we'll have a chef. I'd like to have probably a runner and a digger as well. Oh, the architect looks really good, but I don't really want the bottomless stomach. At least not to begin with. Um, scientist. Uh, construction plus two, learning plus two, strength plus three, and you just don't cook, which is fine because we have a chef. So let's go ahead. We're going to have Lindsay and we're going to have Ellie. And. I don't really like the destructive, but hopefully, if we can keep the stress down, we don't have to worry about stuff like that. Noodle arms, biohazard. Irritable bowel. Narcoleptic is okay. I mean, they fall asleep quite often, but again, there's that other stress response, the binge eater. Um, actually, let's go with this person. They're a miner. They have plus four digging, so I mean, that's pretty good. Plus four strength. None of them have a lot of athletics, though, so that's going to be interesting when we... Um, try to run the generators. Uh, what are we going to call this? The starving cantaloupe? Yeah, that sounds about right. Alright, let's embark. Okay, so... Yes, yes. Crew is awoken. Miles beneath the surface of, surface of an unfamiliar asteroid. Oddly, they have no recollection of how they got here. So, what we'll do is we'll Pause it for a second. We're going to take a look and see what kind of seed we got here. So right off the bat, we got some water, which is good. We got a few plants hanging around. Um, we have some algae. I don't really like the... Oh, there's a little bit more there. A little bit. A few more plants. A lot of sand. Oh, we got some water down here. So all in all, not a horrible seed, actually. Um, I know the algae is going to get used up super fast, so... Okay, we got a cold biome below us. Cold biome below us, that is still all unknown. So with the cold biome so far away, it's going to make it hard to refrigerate food right away, but hopefully we will not have to run into that, and I don't want to flood the place, so I gotta watch it for that, so... Let's go ahead, we'll start building, start making some toilets for everyone. Uh, digging stuff. Um, actually, get a ladder going down there so that they have access to the food. There's also a lot of oxalite here too. I don't know if they upped the difficulty, but I remember when I first started playing this game, 
it was a little bit easier than it is now. Um, it's a lot harder now that you have to worry about temperature and you have to worry about food spoiling and all kinds of other things that they've kind of added to the game. I mean, it kind of gives it, I guess, like a more in-depth experience because in actuality you would have to worry about stuff like that, but oh man, it can be quite a challenge, especially when things start going downhill very quickly. Okay, uh, what do we want here? Plumbing. We want an outhouse. There you go. Have an outhouse. Probably make that ladder a little bit longer. So that they can actually get to the food. There we go. What is wrong? Insuffic insufficient resources? Oh, we don't have any dirt. Hmm, okay. See what we got here? There's dirt there. A little bit of dirt there. I don't really want to dig under this, though. Have some there. And some there. Okay, so let's build up. Are we out of... Really? Can we not... Ladder, please. Thank you. Up. And get some dirt. Actually, I'll probably put their bunks here, too. Furniture. There you go. Got some cots. It's gonna really suck, guys, if any of you need to go to the washroom anytime soon. There we go, we got dirt for the outhouse. And everybody also will have a place to sleep. Awesome. And something else that I noticed, they actually have auto harvesting now, which is something that they did not have when I first started playing. So that must be something that came out recently as well. Auto harvest all the things. Oh. oh, I missed one. How to harvest that too. Yes, I know unrefrigerated food. Not much I can do about that right now. Not too far away. And look, there's Wee's Wart right there, which will help tremendously. Um, I... Maybe I should not do that until I have a medical cot, because they tend to get hypothermia relatively easily. Guys, have a food source. Look at all these plants. Eat your food. Um, I think what the best way is. Oh, look, we have. Oh! Well, that's handy. Okay, so we have some cold all around us. What do we have here? Sleet wheat and pincha pepper plant. And those guys are the new ones from the latest update, I believe. I haven't seen them before, but again, it's been a while since I've played, so... Okay, so we've been through day one. While they're sleeping, I'm actually going to... Of course, we have a friggin' hatch right there. Uh, oh, and another one. If I go over here... There we go. 18, minus 24. Theoretically, I could just go right across and make like a cold room. That's usually what I do, is you go, you make a cold room, you stick a ration box in there, and then your food will stay refrigerated. We have this giant vacuum here. Mm. We still have quite a bit of oxalite left. Maybe that's what I'll do. Mm. Okay. Tile across my 
apparently awesome drawing skills. There we go. And then we can dig through. And that means that we will also have some raw metal so that we can make some tables and stuff. Now it's a little bit far. I guess I could have made a cold storage down here too. I still can. But I just figured doing it here instead of down there with all the water around it would be less likely to um, flood my tunnels. And I should probably put another toilet in here. I said dig. Apparently it's lunch break. Eat the food that'll go rotten. Please do not get yourself stuck. Thank you. Really? Do not get yourself stuck down there. Apparently there was a glitch where the duplicants were actually getting themselves stuck inside the tiles. Um, I believe that has been fixed, but I could still see them getting stuck below the tiles if there's a space there. Okay, how's our temperature looking here? Still good, still good until we get to about here and it starts getting cold. Okay, another outhouse. Build, guys, build! Please do not get hypothermia from the cold. Okay. Minus 13. That should be pretty good. No, everything is in Celsius in the game, but I know for me, if I'm like... Oh, it's pretty temperate here, but anything like above minus 22, 23, it starts to get a little bit warm. So I find it weird when the duplicants think it's chilly when it's like 19 degrees, which personally I think is a good temperature, but that's me. Probably gonna need some storage combat. Are you friggin' where? Where? Oh, right there. Fighting a friggin' hatch. Well, we have meat now. Yes, I know. Insufficient oxygen. I'm gonna have to get some uh, research stations here, too. For that, we're gonna need power. Um, uh, yeah, we'll put you there. Um, battery... Couple there. Okay. Just so then we can get the algae terrarium, and we're not using nearly as much algae, but of course we are using more water at that point. What we got here. Two minus five minus seven. So we'll have to tile. Here as well. And that looks like a good place for the airlock. And I'll towel it off for now. I th think that should be a good temperature in there. Alright, guys. We are quickly running out of oxalite now because we have more spaces to fill with oxygen. I don't think we have... do we have any algae? Uh, not a lot. I can see this going bad relatively quickly. 
put the ration box there. I'm hoping that it stays cold enough to keep things refrigerated. If not, then I might have to move it in a little bit farther. Really did not want to use a deoxidizer. They use so much algae, but I may not have a choice. Still relatively well oxygenated, but... Uh, I'll hold off for maybe a little bit longer. Ish. I know there's oxalite here. Okay. Pull you down. And then what we'll do here, we'll move everything but the field rations over to the other one. Don't need a space heater. Uh, research station. Plop you there. Turn on some research. Good. And they also need, I guess, one of these things. Fit over there? Yeah, you'll fit over there. it up. We're going to do farming first so that I can get the algae terrarium. Because they also slightly help clean the air, too. What? Where's the unrefrigerated food? We should just have field rations in there. Field rations should be fine unrefrigerated. Since we don't have a lot of meal lice, we are just gonna keep making mush bars. That also means we need a source of water. Oh. Uh, that should be okay. We can dig down there and they can use this water here. A little bit far, but that's fine. I think. I think this is looking good. Apparently my budgie agrees. So we will leave this episode here. We've started research. We started doing some mush bars. We got some refrigerated food and they have a place to sleep. So as soon as we get all of the research going, then we can start adding more things. We can bring in some more friends. And all hopefully will be good. So if you guys have any tips for me um, on, you know, making it a little bit easier on construction, anything like that, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like a duplicate named after you, please let me know. And you may see your name as a future duplicate. I'll see you guys next time, alright? Bye!